This very special week at COP, on Friday we delivered to the Briones family in Tanawan, Batangas, the final 6.5 million check payment for the purchase of the three hectare lot where Radio Tower will be standing. During the occasion, the absolute deed of sale document was also signed by the Briones family as seller and COP as buyer. Total consideration is 7.5 million, but we earlier paid the down payment of 1 million. There were eight signatories for the Briones family, widow Juliana Briones and her seven children. COP as buyer was represented by internal audit head brother Oliver and CFO brother Rene. And the extra special good news is that our tower is now on the site. It has arrived. It won't be long now before we will both see and be using our Angel One Tower. Praise God for our Bible radio. This week at COP, our student center turned one year old. We're so thankful to God for all the young people from University Belt who have been saved there this year. We're so thankful to God for all the young people who have gathered for connect groups and Christian activities there. And we're so thankful to God just that our young people have a safe space among the universities to come and do their homework and just be at peace for a while before their next class starts. And most of all, we're thankful to God for our wonderful young people. This week at COP, a word to all parents from the COP Children's Department. Hi parents, your children may want to participate in being a blessing to the children of Happy Land and Aroma. If they have toys or clothes in good condition that they would like to share, they can bring them to any of the children's church services that they attend. At this very young age, it's exciting to think of them learning to sow a seed and reap a harvest. This week at COP, let's talk Christmas at Happy Land. The area has already erected a nice Christmas tree, and the season of giving has begun. As the Deborah's Fellowship chose to give the children loot bags in advance of their Christmas party. Coming up Saturday, December 10, the East Campus Choirs will celebrate their Christmas party by feeding the children. So if you think of volunteering that day, maybe you can select a less busy day. However, on December 24, the morning of our candlelight service, there will be a great need for volunteers to help distribute the 2,000 special gift bags that COP is preparing for the children. Then, on Sunday, December 25, all of the toys and goodies that the children of COP are bringing in to give will be set up and displayed at the Aroma Chapel. After the feeding, the children will be privileged to come in and select which gift they would like for themselves. Can you imagine how special that will be? Lots of workers will be needed for that occasion. This week at COP, a number of corporations and institutions are now getting involved with our feeding as part of their social responsibility program. Recently, students from UST came and taught physical fitness and then gave gifts to the children. We praise God for the favor He has given us in the community. This week at COP South Campus Usher, Lai Quejadas was jumping for joy when she was healed during the service last Sunday, 1230. Sister Lai had been suffering from frozen shoulder, but when Pastor Joe prayed for people from the East Campus, Sister Lai was watching live feed at South, she was suddenly able to freely move her arms straight up above her head. Praise God, He is a healing Jesus. This week at COP Davao, we're praising God for 70 working people and students saved as some of the best Connect leaders from South Campus and from the North teamed up to do what they do best, work for Jesus, but in Davao City. Some of those people have already been water baptized and we're thankful for the hard work our Connect leaders and volunteers are doing. This week at COP Davao also, we're thankful for 66 souls saved as the young people presented Bay 6 of life. Not only that, but several schools and youth organizations have requested that the musical play be presented again for them to encourage their students to know Jesus as Savior. Coming up at COP, Candlelight Communion is now less than a month away. We all know we're going to have a beautiful service filled with heavenly music and some of the best dancing in the world. For Candlelight Communion, you have your choice of the 5 p.m. early service or the 7.30 p.m. service. 
We always mention that parking is easier in the second service. A much loved tradition here at COP at Candlelight is to bring our birthday gifts to Jesus. Special 2016 birthday boxes are being prepared and will be given out during two weekends in December. The idea is that you come on candlelight and place your birthday gift for Jesus on the altar. However, some members of our COP family do prefer to bring their gift and have an immediate giving receipt for this significant giving. So, just as we did last year, the River Room will be open during both candlelight services. Private tables will be set up with COP finance personnel and you may choose to bring your gift there and receive your giving receipt immediately. The River Room will be open one hour before the first service or 4 p.m. Coming up at COP Hangers, our once a year refreshing refresher with Pastor Samra will be this coming Wednesday, November 30 at the COP Main Auditorium. All of the pastors are happily anticipating spending this special time together with you, our incredible COP workers and leaders. So come early and let's fellowship. Teaching time is 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. For those of you who did not sign up for the free lunch, lunch trucks and booths will be available where you can purchase your lunch at a reasonable price. Registration areas are going to be set up by campus. That's easy, right? If you're from main campus, registration area is at our beautiful front lobby. If you're from the north campus, registration is at the cozy back lobby. Those from south campus will register at the spacious parking hallway. And registration for those of you from east campus will be at the cool and breezy garden area. You're not pre-registered for hangers? No problem. Just approach any of our pastors and they will be happy to help you. Looking forward to a great day at Hangers 2016. Coming up at COP, let's plan ahead a little to our annual church fast. We will be setting aside the weekend of January 6 to 8 to fast and pray for the needs we would like to bring to the Lord, for the plans He has for our lives to unfold, and for the COP Bible Radio to bring in the harvest as we all labor together. It has been another great week at COP.